Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Wednesday, the 11th of October. <laughs> I said November, not quite in November yet. It's quarter past one. I have an hour appointment at two, so I have half an hour to film. Do we think I can do that? Film, try and clips, and make a TikTok out of it as well. Half an hour. I think we can do it if we put our mind to it. And then I quickly need to eat something then leave. But I just wanted to start this weekly vlog now. I've just been to Primark. Um, and got some bits for a haul that I'm going to film. That video will already be up for you guys because I'm going to get it edited today. And up tomorrow I'm going to put it out. Um, so yeah, that video will already be live. But yeah, I'm going to get it done now. Quickly eat, go to my nail appointment, come back, spend the afternoon editing. Might do a TikTok live, because I haven't done one for a while, on my football account, if I have time. Um, and yeah, but just wanted to say hi. Hope you're all well. You can't really see me because of the lighting, but I'm just going to crack on and film. Sorry, probably not the right time to start the vlog, but hi. I need you to put onto this tripod. Hang on. No. Better. Hello. Um, I don't know how well you can see me because you're... I couldn't get the tripod... There we go, you just fell. Um, I couldn't get the tripod thing off the bottom of my camera. So it's not great, but I'm rushing to my nail appointment and have one minute. Oh, well, I actually have no minutes to get there. My car time is wrong, but it's I'm like 20 seconds away, so it's fine. Here's the before. See you when they're pretty. I'm back. Here are my nails. I love them so much. They're like an olive little tip. It's so dark. I actually kind of love the dark afternoons. Only at the start of autumn, though. Give it a few months and I'll be hating it, but... I've just come in to the office to edit the Primark call I filmed earlier. I've just made myself some toast because I haven't had lunch and it's 20 past three, which isn't good. So I've made myself some tea and some toast. I'm gonna eat this and edit and then I might do an Instagram live after. I'm gonna go live on Instagram. I bought the ring light down because it is dark. I've also managed to put my phone on this tripod, which is cool. So at least I don't have to hold it. Video is edited, just uploading. So it's been a good productive afternoon, to be fair. Hello, I can't believe how dark it is. I was on live for like an hour. Um, wow, it's bright. <laughs> but I'm just gonna hop in the shower. Dan was in London today with work, so he's not gonna be back till like half seven. So I'm gonna shower now and then go and cook dinner. So it's ready for when he gets home. And then yeah. <laughs> that's about it at the minute we've been going to bed a bit earlier we're going up to bed at like nine and watching prison break in bed i think it'll be like that in the winter like just going up to bed a bit earlier like i do like getting all like snuggly and watching uh watching some telly in bed and then tomorrow is a very exciting day we're getting all the carpet fitted and then upstairs it will be done yeah i'm gonna go hop in the shower and then i'll speak to you guys later on good morning i'm heading out today i'm going shopping with Kirsty, but i need to get ready but also i wanted to talk to you guys about this i've been sent this this is the you like this is at home laser hair removal and the reason i want to talk about this is because i've got a story that goes with it they have very kindly sponsored this video but i couldn't be happier about it many story time i actually booked in to get laser hair removal i had the consultation it must have been about this time last year. I went and had the consultation. I wanted it for ages. I don't know about anyone else, but body hair, hair on me anyway, like even head hair, but body hair grows so quickly. It might be normal, but to me, I'm like, it grows so quickly. Like I feel like I'm shaving all the time. So I went to go get laser hair removal, but I just chickened out. I was gonna get, I think I was gonna go get my legs and my bikini line. I can't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it was legs and bikini line. I'm pretty sure, but had the consultation and I chickened out. with me, some up. I just chickened out. I don't want to use the word embarrassed, but I kind of was. I kind of was. When I found out that you can actually get laser hair removal at home, 
I would much rather try and do things myself than go elsewhere and get it done. This is why I'm so excited to try this out with you guys today. I'm going to link everything down below, but let's try it. Let's give it a go. Beforehand, I watched so many TikToks on this and everyone makes it look easy. So me and you, we're going to try it together. Let's go. So we, of course, get all of the cables that we need for the product. Good thing is it's um, a UK plug so you don't need to worry about getting an adapter or anything like that it is a uk plug so this is everything we need to plug in but on top i also get sunglasses which of course we need a little mini razor which actually comes in a little case which is pretty cute can i just say a little dust bag which will be perfect for travel and then the main event i have already opened it so i know what's in here Ta -da. This makes a beautiful Christmas present. It's a, good, it's a good time to start making the Christmas wish list and this may be a good one to pop on there. So I'm using a little razor that I got out of the kit. I'm so naive, I don't know why I just thought you'd go in with the laser. See, if you learn something new every day, make sure you shave first. I'm gonna do under the armpits because I think that's where we're gonna be able to see it best on camera. So I'm just gonna make sure that works. Never thought I'd be shaving my armpits on uh, on YouTube, but you know, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> right, specs. Doesn't matter what you look like, put the sunglasses on, right? Fresh! I am actually putting them over my glasses. I won't be able to see anything and I could laser my hair off. My eyes like, isn't that bad? But you never know, you never know, right? Right, it's got three settings. I am going to start off on the lowest setting just because I don't know what the pain's going to be like. We're trying this together. So we're going to start off with the lowest. I'm going to just pop it on. Right, we're on the lowest setter. I know because it's just got one bar. And apparently it doesn't hurt. Apparently it doesn't hurt. I'm so scared. Oh my god, I actually cannot feel anything. I swear on my life, I cannot feel a single thing. I thought this would be the perfect time to talk you guys through the Ulike Sapphire Air 3 IPL hair removal. Now, the most important thing that I want to get onto is that it is FDA cleared. And here is a C certificate that I'm going to pop on screen now. It has been approved by professionals as a certified medical device and also a skin friendly. It is also permanent results. And you know what that means? That means no more ingrown hairs, no more rash burn, no more irritation because i don't know about you after shaving my legs are so irritable it is so annoying no more of that i will see results in three weeks and i'll be hairless in 12 weeks and you might be thinking well i may as well just go to a salon and get this done it ends up being a fraction of the price and it's the same technology used and that's in the energy the wavelength the flat head it is the same tech as a salon. Talking of tech, the Sapphire Ice Calling Tech protects your skin while doing hair removal. And there is also a new function on the Ulike Sapphire Air 3, which is super easy to use. It's the auto glide method. So I press and hold the button for two seconds to activate it. And then the glide light window will automatically flash once pressed on my skin. There's no pain. Like I cannot stress that enough to you guys. I cannot feel a thing. And the reason I can't feel a thing is down to the ice cooling technology that keeps my skin at a comfortable temperature temperature protecting me from any burns and when I say keeping the skin cool that is cooling the skin to 68 Fahrenheit for 30 whole minutes during use and you can't chicken out like me because I'm now in the comfort of my own home I have full control over doing it so to sum it all up it's effective it's painless and it's safe the icy pain 3 permanent hair removal solution if you ask me and the last thing I do want to highlight is there's a 90 day money back guarantee I just did my legs on the third setting and I still had not heart, could not feel anything at all. So easy to use, so easy to use. And also having three settings, you can honestly like you can literally use it anywhere, face, armpits, legs, even your most sensitive of areas. I mean I don't know, I can't feel anything on the third, but in my most sensitive areas I would definitely use the first setting. Not take any risks <laughs> down there with any pain so i would just put it on the first setting if you do want to use it on your bikini line elsewhere i do just want to thank you like again for sponsoring this little section of the video i'll leave everything linked down below in the description box and i'll probably give you guys an update in i won't do it next week's weekly vlog i mean maybe i'll just give you an update in every weekly vlog if you're interested stay tuned for that but um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. I'm gonna go get ready and I'll see you in a minute. Hello again. 
Apologies for not vlogging, my camera had no charge and the tripod thing was sitting to the bottom of it that I couldn't get off so I can get my battery out. I just had to get down to it this morning. But we're back. I'm about to head out. Me and my friend are going on a shopping day and I cannot wait. Uh, we're just going to touch with the Solly Hill, but I don't know what jackets were. This was the one I had in mind. I actually forgot I had this. It's from Zara. I've just got like blue jeans on. I mean, I've taken the mirror out of this room so I can't see. Or I've got the new one that I bought the other day. So, this one, I actually can't even see myself in the viewfinder right now. Or, <laughs> this one. This one will probably be a bit warmer, to be fair. I think Kirsty's leaving as well. Leaving in five, yeah. I need to go try them on in the other room. Um, but... We'll see. I mean, at least I have options. No one would be stressing like, I've got nothing to wear. Guys, I actually don't know. Like, part of me wants to save this, but that's just silly. Like, if you buy something, wear it, wear it as much as you can. Let me go get my shoes. Oh, this room is going to be done when I get home. Do you understand how, how happy that makes me? Nobody does. I cannot wait. And then I get to open up my new print, put that up, open up my new mirror downstairs, put that in. Oh my god, it's literally all going to be done tonight. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. Let me go get my shoes. This is also the last time I can wear shoes upstairs, so taking full advantage. There's a really loud noise going on outside, but I can't see where it's coming from. It's obviously happening in someone's garden. But, yeah, don't mind the noise. See, now I'm putting my shoes on, I'm thinking this jacket because it all like goes together. Oh my god, my leg's aching. I really want some new shoes. <laughs> Guys, for me, I've gone a while about buying new shoes. I really want... <laughs> I have no balance. I really want to get some form of Uggs. Give myself a budget though for today. I'm going to start doing that when I go out shopping. Because also, I can give myself a budget, I never let me find anything. <laughs> Ta-da! I think it's the first cold day today, so I think I'll be warmer than this. Oh my god. I don't know! Oh, I just ripped this. I think I've just ripped it. That sounded like a rip. Please don't be ripped. I don't know. I might just take both and get Kirsty to decide. Here's what the room's looking like now, and the landing. And then when I get home, hopefully, carpet will be in. Dan is gonna move all this when I'm gone. I've moved all my bits and pieces. But, um, yeah. We've come to Tetrad. We've come shopping. I went for the grey jacket in the end. Um, I was torn between two jackets. Oh, yeah. yeah, I went for this one. Is that Sarah? It is. I got it like literally the other week. Um, I can't wait. I haven't been to Zara in so long. This is like round by us, I think, out of the boring and Solly Hill. This is. Mm, you, yeah, I don't like the I don't like the ball. No, this are. one it's, is the best. It's one. like skinny and tall, and it's um, me like dirty, messy. I yeah, think. yeah. I like I do like this one. I like the men's section of this. Like it's not that I'm a man, but if it's I was a man, as well. Have you been to that one? I've never been to Telford. It's not that good. I <laughs> won't be going no, to Telford. No, the Telford shopping centre is really good, but well, I haven't been in ages. But the Zara was really small. Oh really? Maybe I've got that wrong. I just don't know why they don't open one at Murray Hill. Like, they would make, like, in my head, it's, like, the easiest option. Like, they'd make so much money. We'd be in there every week. I'd Literally. just go get a job there, to be fair, just to get the discount. Like, Should we call Zara Rook and let yeah, them know? Yeah, like, hi. Please. I'd like to be a shareholder. Please. I will give you one pound towards it. <laughs> right, let's 
Yes. We've come to Nando's. I've done some damage in Zara and I cannot wait to show you what I got, but yeah, we've just come to Nando's. Wow, this lighting is awful, but we're in H&M. I'm just picking up some more of these. I have like the grey one that I wear all the time and I've just picked up a white and black. I feel like the white's going to be see-through, but I have worn a white long sleeve for ages. They're only 9 99 They're in like the divide divided section. They're 9 99 each, so I'm going to get two. Show me your colour, the grey. Nice. So nice. I do love that one. Nice. Okay, I'm just at home. <laughs> Look how nice this looks. I know it's a lot lighter in person. It is so not. I haven't even seen my room yet. I wanted to get my reaction on vlog. Oh my god, I don't want to look up. I'm just like, I feel like a kid at Christmas. It is so so. I don't want to put my hand on it. It's so so. Oh oh my god. Oh my god, it looks so nice. I'll give it a hoover, I'll give it a hoover. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I want this to be our bedroom. It's so nice. Nice, isn't it? It's so nice. It fit. I mean, for the price, it should feel nice. It's bummingly expensive, but... Mm. I wish you'd put it in the bedroom now. Oh wow. I knew you was gonna I knew you was gonna say that. Well if you knew I was gonna say that you must be thinking it too. Yeah maybe. Maybe one day. Oh my god, it's so nice. It looks massive in it. I don't know if it's because you've cleared it all out. Yeah. Oh god, it looks I'm actually so excited. Can we do it now? Yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe you've got a whole new London like so spontaneously. I'm just so happy with it all. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's so perfect. You're happy with it like that? Yeah. That's really fucking nice, yeah. eh? Yeah. Well, it's such a good mirror. It's massive. Yeah, it's huge. Happy with it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure? Yeah. Shame it doesn't cover that socket. Yeah. Oh, I knew it wouldn't. That's so nice. Wow, I didn't expect it to be like that. That's banging. I'm so happy. That's quite nice. It's, I feel like the small one's really out of proportion with it, but this is just a normal... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make you look like tall and... <laughs> Shame about that plug there. Can't take that aesthetic. Oh, uh, yeah. Just plugs in the way. Uh, yeah. Oh, you'll like it. God. Is it done? You do it, because I'll scratch the wall. Oh, this carpet is so soft. I was going to get rid of these drawers because I didn't think they'd f like fit. They do, but it just makes... <laughs> The, we've had to move the rail over so it's not central. So instead of, this might be really silly, but instead of having the print central to the wall, I'm going to have it central to the rail because the rail will never move. Like it's got no other place to go. Good morning. I don't think I need a scarf. I'm cold right now, but I probably should have just put the heating on this morning. It probably is warmer outside. Hello from my new room. Guys, I can't even, like, I love it so much. It's so peaceful and I don't know if that's going to make any sense to anyone but it's so calm in here it's because it's got like no clutter and there's nothing else that needs to go in here like everything was sorted last night I ended up losing my camera it sounds like an excuse I genuinely did lose it um sorted the dressing room out and yeah, literally there's nothing else that needs to go in here. So I'm happy that it's just gonna stay this way. I'm gonna give you a proper tour when I get back home. But I think Dan wants to crack on and he just wants to get everything done. So I think he's gonna crack on with my dressing room because I love the carpet so much and it's so soft and fluffy. But we both said now like we really don't like the dressing room floor. I'll show you. Because this is all like really nice and fluffy. 
and then see how dark this room is now it just it just doesn't like all these rooms fit really nicely but then this one just doesn't <laughs> I don't know <laughs> we just want to get it done so it only needs painting so yeah at least I can come in here now I have literally shipped everything in here clothes are not organized at all and I want to sell a lot more on vintage as well so I'm gonna do that at some point probably over the weekend while Dan's decorating actually I might do that if I do I'll leave my vintage down below but I'll let you know um and then just get all this sorted and organized I want to get baskets for up there as well so yeah herringbone floor Dan has always hated the bathroom floor don't mind my trainers just there <gasps> Don't let Dan see that. <laughs> um, would it be weird if I got the same floor? Obviously, I know it'd have to be waterproof, but I wanted to get some like nice oak coloured like herringbone vinyl. And Dan was like, why don't we just put the same in here? But is it weird to have? I don't think it's weird at all. If you think like downstairs toilets normally, like the floor normally like follows through. So I don't think it'd be any different. And I think it'd be nice that they'd be tied together. A quick OOTD. I don't think I need this scarf, but the scarf's Primark, the jacket is Zara. And then I've just got this little Adenola set on because I need to just go run some errands. I need to go food shopping. Although I just made a food shop list. We're not in tonight. We're going out with Nan and Grandad um, for a meal. I took them to the airport bless, like a few weeks ago and they're like, oh, we'll take care of a meal. So I'm really looking forward to that. Tomorrow night we're in, Sunday we're at the football in London, Monday we're in, Tuesday, Wednesday we're in Dublin, and then we're just in Thursday, and then food shop again next Friday. So I really don't need to get much, which is good, because it'll be nice and cheap. Go to B&M and get some washing stuff, purely just washing stuff, and that is it. So I'm going to go to B&M first. Oh, shall I return some bits to Primark? I should probably be good and do that as well and then go to Aldi, that sounds good, now all the rooms are kind of like sorted, I just want to get and downstairs tidied and cleaned as well, like there's so much recycling that needs to go out, just, there's just a lot of like housey things to do today, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get ready, because I'm going out this evening with my grandparents, I'm going to get ready like after lunch, film some content, I want to get some TikToks and Instagram reels, and then go out and have a nice evening. That was vile. I feel like we haven't had rain like that, like this, in the longest, longest time. I didn't film in there, I literally ran in, got some cleaning things, um, and then came straight back out. And now I'm going to pop to Aldi, get a food shop done, and go home. There's some bits I need to edit on a different video. I need to clean. And I also do want to film some content at some point, so fingers crossed <laughs> we can get it all done. It's almost quarter to twelve. I don't know where today has already gone, but it's fine. Guys, I really don't want to do the food shop. It's raining so much. I want to be at home all cosy, but I nearly just knocked my contact lens out. That wouldn't have been good. That would be my excuse to go home because I can't see anything. This scarf's wet. I'm gonna be quick. Oh, no. Everything seems to be leaking today. I picked up in VM a bottle of comfort, stick it in the trolley. Someone had obviously sniffed it and not put the lid on, and it just went everywhere. I've just picked this up, which is my brow serum, which I need to use like in a week's time. It just keeps your brow line like licking fresh. It's leaked. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to leave it for now. I mean, you may as well whack whatever it was on my hands and the brows. <laughs> right. Oh, actually, I have wipes. I have a little care package in my car. This is when it comes in handy. I have anti back wipes. So that will do the job, won't it? Because that stuff is actually really sticky. Look at me just prolonging this food shop. Anything that I can do. It might clean the car. It's tipping it down. <laughs> might just clean the car. Oh, there's a pound for the trolley. Oh, no. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, that's just gone down under my seat. Oh, I think I've got it. 
guys, I think I've got the pound. I've got the pound. I've got it. Let's go and get this done. Earphones. Just drop them as well. Oh, this pan's so sticky. I promise this isn't sponsored by Lenore, I just love it! Um, thing is, I actually don't really like going to B&M because I just spend way too much money so I literally stocked up on everything I need so I hopefully don't have to go for a long time. Always get asked on like my whites and like white socks, these are so so good. Get them off Amazon as well. Um, but yeah, use these. I've also picked this up which my boyfriend Dan is going to appreciate this a lot more than me. He like seemed all his clothes. Obviously, he works. He has an office job. He likes to look. Well, he likes to have like not crease clothes, obviously. Um, and he loves the Lenore. He will steam his clothes, and then he'll also use the Lenore crease release to just like make them smell really nice. But I found this. I'm hoping it's gonna. Surely it will smell like. Um, release. I hope it does. Okay. You're pretty much done. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good. I don't know if you use this and water. Oh, do not dilute the product. That's so good. It's for steamers and iron, so I've got this. Also just picked up these. I like to pick us up little snacks for the weekend. Like when we're watching telly in bed, have a quick tea and I just a bit of a different snack, so I just picked two of these up. And I picked these up for the biscuit jar because I love these cookies. And that was everything I got from BM and also some toilet bowl. Now we'll go on to Aldi. This was such a small food job. As I mentioned earlier, we're not in a lot for dinner this week, next week. So yeah, it's really small. I actually just needed to stock up on snacks more than anything. The snacks were low, so that was my priority, you know, over food, as it should not be. But i um, got some milk, some naan breads, because we've got curry tomorrow. Just some of these for the fridge, they're actually really good. Couldn't find chicken breast, I just had to get diced chicken breast and potatoes, just in case we want like jacket potatoes for lunch, because I'm bored of sandwiches now, so I was like, hmm. Jacket potato will be nice, some cheese. We've just needed AAA batteries for like so many different things all of a sudden, so I've just picked some up. Um, me and Dan really like Reese's, so I thought I'd pick these up because it's a lot cheaper. Spinach for the curry, some mouthwash. These are so good, I need to put you on these if you haven't tried them. They're always out of stock, they were in stock this week, so I picked up two, but they're so yum. Some tortilla chips for dinner, we've got in the week. Uh, curry sauce, so we just have this with chicken and spinach and rice, which I did pick up, there we go. Um, cereal, some pizzas, one for in the week, one just to stick in the freezer, and some cereal bars. And I also picked these up from uh, VM. I've just made a quick lunch, I'm just having spinach and... <laughs> I actually don't know what it is. Was it like spinach and feta? Or spinach and something? Some form of pasta, and I've just got some Philadelphia pepper salt on it. And I'm gonna eat this while I quickly get an edit done on a video. And I've got a YouTube video uploading, and now I'm gonna clean the house <laughs> so it's nice and tidy. We've got three things that we've got on marketplace at the minute, and all but one that pretty big thing is we've got the massive IKEA mirror, which I'm pretty sure is about to go. Dan is dealing with it all. The desk which again I think is about to go and then a computer monitor which has gone and needs to be collected so I'm hoping it can, over the weekend it will all be gone but we just have like the desk chilling downstairs the massive mirror in the hallway so I I just cannot wait to get back to some normality saying that I think like I said earlier we might be doing the dressing room over the weekend so yeah I mean playing house it's fun right I'm never gonna take it for granted but I'm gonna get tidy and get clean in and then I'll feel good. So that's why I stay right here. 
Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach, you're crystal clear. You don't disappear, baby. No. So why would I? this when I was clearing up the other day. It's one of the M&S ones and they're like light up, let me show you. I think I got this from my, from my birthday, like last year maybe, from my pretty girlfriend. So I'm very happy I just found it out. Oh my god, it's the coolest thing ever. Someone tell me how that works. <laughs> like, how does it do that? I thought I'd finally give you guys a little tour. <laughs> You've probably seen most of it now, but this is what it's like when you walk in. The rail used to be here and there used to be a print on the wall. I don't know if you guys remember, but this is my new mirror. It's from William Wood. <laughs> it's a tongue pull. William Wood Mirrors, and I absolutely love it. It was expensive, I think it was $220, but they had 20% off. So I think I paid like one something, but it was definitely worth it. Like it's perfect and it's something that we'll always have like it will come to our next house whenever we next decide to move etc etc like it's i just love it and then it's all now the same color so we still have the panel in which i now much prefer now it all kind of blends in it's all one color my ring light is staying there because it acts as a lamp <laughs> it's great because i'll never need to take it down because it doesn't matter where i film i can just like rotate it um so yeah the ring light is staying there this this is the sofa bed, which is from Maid. Blanket is from Timu. And then, sorry, we do have we have a massive window. I'm trying not to get too much in. Um, and then we have the drawers, which I'm really sorry. I don't know where they're from. They're just from some random website. I just typed in like black Chester drawers, and I found these ones. Had them a while. Love them. I say I love them. They're they're okay. They're not very practical. Like the depth of the drawer isn't very deep kind of at all it's like to here to here like here's a book it's the size of a book so the drawers aren't very deep uh like the width of them this wicker basket i believe is from primark i'm almost certain it's from primark and then the rail which got this when we first moved oh i think it's from wayfair actually and then my print frame is decenio which used to be here and i just order some new prints they had like four for two on their website so i ordered four and yeah loved this one it's like a nice painting it's really calming i love it and yeah this is it and it's staying like this like nothing else is coming in um i have so much room the carpet's so nice i'm honestly so happy with it like beaming all day like keep coming here to check it's still here because i love it oh light fixture is also made and like you can see the banister like I'm so glad we got the banister done because when I'm like sat here <laughs> it's like the little things and like you can see the banister and the carpet all matching it's like it is just the little things like I'm so happy with it hello long time no speak don't mind the red belly I've had a hot water bottle <laughs> leaning there which isn't good but um I'm getting ready to go out I'll give you a proper view tomorrow when I, I pick it up, but I'm going to quickly put on this jumper. Um, just with these jeans. I love it. It's from Zara. I got this in a jacket. Um, this was £29.99. The jacket was £35.99. I thought it was so good for Zara. I'm just going to keep this little top underneath to keep me warm. It looks nice. I did quickly try it on yesterday in the shops. I never know how to like wear high necks. I don't like to roll them, but I think it kind of needs to be. This is my outfit of the day. Um, actually, do you know what? I will quickly show you now. I've been so bored because there wasn't much. Great long sleeve top. I wear it a lot in videos, and I've had a lot of questions on it on TikTok and Instagram recently and YouTube videos. <laughs> they're these, they're from H&M, they're 9.99. I think the white might be see-through, but I just really want a white long sleeve top. So I picked it up in white. And I also picked it up in black. Um, really boring. And then just picked up some deodorant and some pads, these little pads. 
are great when you're on like your last few days of your period. Some more of those, and this was the coat I picked up. I love it so much, okay? Not with <laughs> not with this jumper, but I'm gonna wear it to the football on Sunday, I think, like a scarf. It was $35.99. And they did it in black as well, but I've got a black one to well, which I'm gonna put on in a minute, but just looks like so. I've got it in a small or extra small, like they do come up big. I got this in an extra small. I originally tried on a medium. No, I originally tried on a, on a small and cut was like that's way too big. So definitely stick to your size. Cause yeah, this is this is an extra small, if not like size down. And then I'm just gonna put my black comedy gas ones on. I don't think I pronounce them at all. It's just what I've always called them. The converse with the red hearts. I think I had them on yesterday. I was going to curl my hair but it's kind of wavy from the part so I'm just going to leave it back. I'm just going to leave it because if I cannot put heat on it, I won't put heat on it. So yeah, but just wanted to show you my new jumper. Guys, I'm a mess. <laughs> Look at the state of me. I'm not even in my own clothes. I've got dance joggers on. I've got this top on. No, <laughs> no bra or anything. Oh, I'm a mess. So I went in the shower this morning and done started doing the room, which obviously I am so grateful for, but just meant I can get to my clothes. And I was going to do my makeup, get ready, and film some content today. Um, but I was like, oh, I've booked in to go to the tip at whatever time, like three o'clock he's there now. If there's anything... Um, if you want to put some bags together downstairs, because that, you know, the room off the kitchen that's going to be like eventually a utility when we can be bothered to do it, it was full of junk. So I was like, you know what, if you've got a tip appointment, I may as well just get some of the rubbish together. It's a lot of cardboard, to be fair, just get a lot of it together um, for him to take. I ended up doing the whole entire room. I'm so tired, but it's done. I'll go show you it downstairs. There's still things in there, but we need to go pick up a storage box of my nan because she's had a new one, so she's very kind of given us her old one. So we need to go get that. And then the jet wash and all that, and the barbecue can go in there because we only have like a little barbecue. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to annoy Dan going in this room. <laughs> the door is shut because we don't want to get anything on the carpet. It's going to need quite a few layers. Um, oh, it looks decent on camera to be fair but yeah I want to get a new light switch I mean I'm keeping the radiator black so maybe I just mm, I did tell Dan I wasn't keeping it so he definitely didn't care maybe I should get a new one but yeah it's getting it already looks so much brighter in here it's mad I took all my clothes out because um I don't have doors in my wardrobe and I didn't want to paint to like flicker up so I could do I flicked through it to be fair and I do want to keep the majority of that but I do also want to get some stuff up on vintage I want to get the iPad to show you I'll show you when I go downstairs but I've been making Pinterest mood boards it's like my new favorite thing to do and you know what it's such a good idea because I feel like I did sit and do it for like two days <laughs> but since doing it I feel like I genuinely really know my style now like if I just sat and looked at Pinterest and made all these different mood boards for like different occasions like every day or even like football outfits or like smarter occasions and it's really helped it has honestly really helped and one thing I did really want was some oval sunglasses which really hard to find order some this is amazing order some at like half eleven no, ordered some about half ten, eleven last night. They came this morning, <laughs> like three ninety nine next day delivery. They're from the Specs. That's why I'd show you them. <laughs> I really like them. Obviously not with this outfit and not <laughs> looking like this, but like imagine it with the right outfit. I'm such a sunglass person. I love sunglasses. Oh, is it all like? Can you tell? Kind of. I just really liked them. I just wanted to show you them. That was all. <laughs> My sunglasses, I've just started editing some TikToks. Um, that I'm going to upload now. The room transformation. And then I'm not too sure what's going to happen next. It's actually, but apart from the chaos of this morning of 
getting downstairs I'll actually go show you that not that it will matter to you because you'll have no idea how bad it was before but I'm so glad we've done that well I've done that and done is putting the second layer of paint in the dressing room so it's it's been a productive day to be fair here's the room um yeah it was like full earlier this desk is not staying here it's hopefully going this evening so the desk won't be in here i've just put it out of the way for now but all this needs to go in the garden box outside uh what else I, that's just some of my bits I need to sort through. Dan's golf clubs, I don't know where they're going to go, to be honest, but I'm sure we'll find a home. Um, and yeah, strip it, take out the carpet, and get a tumble dry in here for now, because we don't need a utility. This is just a bit of spare space that we may as well make the most of. I'm sure when we have have all, it all fitted, we'll think, oh my God, how do we ever live without this? But um, all we really need is a tumble dryer, so yes. It's looking a lot better, trust me. It's looking a lot better. We've got Greg's donut, and we're watching the, well, we'll be. I don't know who this is fighting, but we'll be watching the Tommy fight. We have to set it on the laptop there, but um, yeah. Good morning, it is so cold today, but we're up nice and early, well, nice and early for a Sunday anyway. I think it's probably just gone 8 o'clock is my guess. Um, we're going to London today to go to a football game. We're going to watch Arsenal versus Aston Villa women. Um, but yeah, it's in London, so kickoff is at 2, which means we need to get up early. We've had such problems finding a train to get, and there's not even train strikes. Well, it says there isn't, and then every train we've gone to get is like rail place, rail, bus, oh, whatever, bus replacements for the railway. <laughs> oh, God, I've got a So, um, yeah, we've struggled. So, I'm driving to Banbury, which is about just over an hour away, and then getting a train from Banbury to London. So, that's the plan. We're ready to go. I just forgot my scarf, so Dan's just got in to get it. But um, it takes an hour and eight to drive. Yes, yeah, so we're driving like hmm, just under halfway. We're driving to Banbury, and then we're gonna get on a train. And then the train's like an hour. To be fair, I think I'd rather do more driving than get a train, especially coming back when you, all you want to do is be at home. Hello, we've just got in here. Well, we've gone to the train station and I'm going to switch to phone cam because I never know what football stadiums are like taking um, phones in, so uh, cameras in. So we'll have a nice little vlog cam, phone cam. Why can't I speak today? We'll have a nice little. We're switching to the iPhone cam basically. Should I take some mints with me? Okay, this is on with a ticket. Thank you. Oh, I never know where to put them. Eh? Okay. And I'm still on the iPhone cam, the iPhone cam, I've left my camera um, in my car, and I can't remember to go get it, so I'll do it tomorrow morning, but back home, my lips are really sore, I don't know why though, so that's the only problem though, that is all, great game, great game, fantastic game, I was losing the whole time, 12 minutes extra time, scored two goals in two minutes and one. Couldn't have been better. So that was fun. Um, but we're gonna have a, have a shower and then we're gonna get into bed. I'm really, not stressed, but like, I really wanna film something tomorrow and I don't know what to film because I hate it bloody once a week, I hate it. 
as much as I love doing other socials like TikTok and whatnot and Instagram, like YouTube's my baby and I never want to put it on the back foot. I feel like I have recently. Um, so what I want to upload tomorrow, it's going to come a come shop with me, but I feel like I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. I don't know. There might just be one. This might have been the only upload this week, and if it is, I'm sorry. But um, I'm going to shower, then we're going to get into bed with a cup of tea and watch prison break. I've just had a bowl of cereal. Um, and yeah, so I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, if you like, will be linked down below in the description box if you want to go shop that. Again, a massive thank you to them for sponsoring the start of this video. But other than that, if you're still here now, you're a legend. Thank you. You are a legend. Um, and I'm just going to go because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just on my bed. Good night.